My name is Miles. I'm going to show you the easiest and the cheapest way how to make a dry fuel cell. As you can see here, I've all got, I've got all the parts that I need. The gaskets, the rubber gaskets. I bought a mat, rubber mat from the hardware for about I don't know three dollars. I made my own gaskets. The stainless steel plates that I'm using are actually <laughs> pancake um, spaddles, whatever you call them, see, they used to be connected, I just cut them off, don't need it, I can use this later on, scraping something or I don't know, use it for the barbie or something, but anyway, one of those uh, plates cost me about I think it was two dollars, dollar ninety nine. I bought five of them. Maybe later on I'll add more. Now what I did was I uh, put a notch in one of them, as you can see there, and in the other, which will be negative and positive, and I'm going to have uh, three neutral plates inside. Now I've drilled a few holes here. Don't know if you can see them or not. I'll turn it around this way. This one will be going, actually, will be going up. That's the outlet. And the next one that will be going on top has a hole down here, which will be your inlet. Okay, let's get started. First of all, I'll get one of these smaller gaskets that I cut out. Bear with me because I'm using one hand and it's not that easy. Actually, I should have started with the bolts first. This is going to be a bit difficult using one hand. Now I didn't buy this plexiglass because it is a bit expensive and you can't just buy a little small sheet of it. You've got to buy a pretty large sheet. So I found this uh, plexiglass uh, sheet inside an old fridge. So that worked out fine for me. There we go. Okay. And around that way. I'll start putting my gaskets in. Actually, it goes this way. Okay, I've cleaned these um, stainless steel plates, so I'm going to get my tweezers. I don't really want to touch them now since they're clean. I'm going to get this one here. And I'm going to place it gently inside. There we go. Next gasket. the tweezers a bit make sure you don't cover this notch over here with your gasket or you won't get your um, connections right later on you won't have any room now 
what I did was the next one that I'm going to put in I made a little notch which I'll show you when I put it on straight away there's that little notch there so there's room for my wiring I'll just fix that up a bit there we go next one Then I'll get another plate, which I didn't put no notch in, because it's a neutral plate, I don't need to. Actually this one's a neutral plate as well, just the bottom one is the positive one. Okay, put that in there carefully. There we go. Just tap it over. So they're all nice and even. As you can see, there's a fair bit of a gap there, which we want. Okay. Next gasket. Wrong one, sorry. I had a few gaskets made to see which one will fit me perfectly. Okay, now we'll get the other plate. Now we'll turn this plate around to this other side. I'll show you in a minute why. Now I've put the other notch on this side and the other notch on that side. I don't want one on top of the other just in case of any connections that might occur which we don't really want. Just tap it in nicely. Okay, get a gasket. Put a gasket right there. Just move it in place. There we go. And the last plate. Just try to grab it somehow. Very, very awkward using one hand. But I like to show you this is so cheap and so easy to make that cost me there we go there's one notch there and the other notch down there and we've got what is it one two three three neutral plates now I've made these bolts a little longer I bought longer bolts just in case I want to add more neutral plates some people say it's better to have five to six plates, some say it's best to have uh, two to three plates. Now I'm going to test it first of all with three plates and see how I do. I'll put my last gasket on. Move it in place. Okay, now I can put my other plate back on. If we had the hole, I think, was on, what side was it on, the top, we can have it now, this hole, this big hole down the bottom. Now I've just got to put these bolts into the holes and it should drop in. Start to drop this out. 
actually should have turned it around. There's the bolts. The holes were drilled the same as the other side. There we go. Perfect. Now, I can start putting my bolts on, nuts on. Now what I did was I made, uh, I got some L, um, L plates and I just flattened them out so I can use them as brackets so I can mount them easier on my car and um, I wouldn't have any hassles later on adding or welding there we go grab the other one as well sorry about the cameraing but I'm doing the best I can with one hand and it's not it really ain't easy I should have had a camcorder to do this but Just tighten them all up. These other ones you can tighten up later on, as long as you tighten these up so nothing moves around, everything's where it should be. Okay. 